Uh, so there's a lot of tracks on the album, the um, Bet You're From a Small Town, but that were on the EP, but there it doesn't go both ways, right? So not all the tracks made it from the EP to the album. How'd you, how'd sure. you, how'd you step in to pick and cut i guess some of those off yeah i mean it was it was weird i had a lot of people on the team that wanted the whole ep to go on the record and i was like well i mean we like that's kind of taken away from the moment of the ep you know what i mean like i wanted the ep just to be it it be itself back in april of 21 that was the chapter now we i wanted to move on to another chapter but you never know what songs are going to be singles down the road and i knew if i didn't include you know like the desert and good dogs or whatever um songs that were on the ep on the album i knew if they were on the album they could never be a single you know what i mean and so yeah. good they, dogs got to me man i'm a dog guy i got two dogs like you're like oh, oh yeah. my god stop reminding me that this amazing creature <laughs> won't be there soon stop that oh man i it's know it hurts a smack of reality too T- tell me about one day i, I want to talk it's such a i mean it's such a interesting song yeah. and i want to hear the message from you before what i got from it I yeah i mean you know it was one of those songs i was on a writing retreat um at my buddy jim catino's lake house south of nashville and and uh i just picked up the, the guitar one morning and i started playing that groove i had no i had no title of one day or melody or anything i just started playing that my buddy will bundy one of the writers was like i have this idea called one day and uh kind of just explain the idea a little bit and uh literally about two or three hours later the song just fell out of the sky and it was it, i mean we had chills writing it the whole time it's literally one of my favorite songs i've i've written i've listened to that song one thousand times in my truck and it never gets old we just started she playing was. it live this past weekend and how did just, that feel it just goes over so so well i mean it's uh this song's such a smash to me but. yeah it's an interesting song because you do it's again about a, really appreciating what you have right now and all the things that yep. one day the, these things aren't going to be there one one of the tracks that uh is on the album that we haven't heard yet because it's all gray when you try to search it you know you can only hear some of them what do you what are you most excited for people to hear on the on the album on friday Oh man, i think uh there's a song called merle haggard that i think everybody's gonna love a lot um and the title track, Betcha from a Small Town. That's probably the most personal song for me. I've lived every line in that song. Um, Tell so, me about that track real quick. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, wrote, uh, wrote another song I wrote on a writing retreat uh, with some of my best friends. And it was weird. We wrote, like, it's a longer song. Like, it has, like, three or four verses in it. and But we had mm-hmm. written, like, six or seven, just because it's a million things you could say about a small town, right? And so it was, it was hard to kind of narrow down which, which ones deserved to be in the song and which ones didn't. So um, I think everybody will be able to relate to this one because everybody's from a small town, whether you're no matter what, you know what I mean? If if you're from a big city, you're from a little community in a big city, you know what I mean? And so it's, uh, and like I said, it's most personal to me. So that's why I named the, the album that.